Welcome back to the shop. We've got a new project today. This involves a threshold for a friend of mine for his house. So, let me show you what we got. This is a piece of uh, red oak. Looks like it's a uh, three quarter inch, two and a half inches wide, four foot long piece. And he's drawn kind of the profile of what he wants into this end. So, We'll end up cutting something similar to this. Um, this is just roughed out for, for me to look at. Where this channel is at, this little spot right here, what we want to do is you want to take this piece of aluminum channel and cut it down and put it in there like that. So I'm going to have to trim this channel down in height. I'll put it in the mill and just trim it all off. Now. Before, I would have considered doing this with my table saw and cutting these uh, curves, if you will, cutting these, these uh, channels, I would have considered cutting these on the table saw, but the curve of the saw blade is going to be so wide that it's going to end up taking too much material. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing this on my milling machine, making a, a cut just thick enough for this channel, this part of the channel, to sit in right here, and then using an end mill to cut this channel and to cut this channel. And uh, that way I can make it just as narrow as this piece of aluminum without taking off too much material. This piece over here, I can mill this out with an end mill, and then this piece, I'll probably have to either use a uh, some sort of uh, cutter on it, or I can put it in the table saw and just cut it off that way, and then trim everything up, sand it all down with a with a block plane. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mill this aluminum uh, channel down to the right height. So stick around; should be a good one. I think we can safely mill that down to 300,000. I think that's what the plan's gotta be. I almost forgot to bring you guys back. So what I've done <clears throat> is I've taken some high-speed steel and stuck it underneath the stock in the vise to get it to the right height, and then I just brought the quill down and locked it to where I want it to be so it's cutting off the right amount. So now we'll just move our piece down. Move our piece down a little bit like that. Flatten the vise. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, a little bit of deburn, and those should be good. All right, a little bit of work with the deburring tool and a file on the bench vise. That looks pretty good. So this should work perfect. Next is going to be setting up to cut the grooves in the wood. And I'm probably going to do that on the milling machine as well because, uh, like I said, I want to make those grooves as narrow as I can. I've got some pretty narrow grooving tools. Some end mills are pretty narrow. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on the on the uh, milling machine. I'll bring you guys back when I do that. All right, so here's our next setup. We're going to cut this big channel right down the middle of this. It's pretty close to the middle. Let's offset a little bit. Alright, let's give it a try. Chug it along here, cut this out. I'll bring you guys back for the next setup. In this toolbox that I got, there were a ton of end mills and cutters and just all kinds of stuff. So, there happens to be one in here that I think is the right size. I set it up, I measured down. The aluminum track fits in there nicely. It's gonna be at that height right there so if you compare that to this side I think that's a good depth we're gonna give it a shot Alright, I tried running this through the router to establish this profile. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I could put this on my table saw, just tilt the arbor, make one cut, be done with this. But getting my table saw out for one cut is a lot of work. So what I thought I would do is take advantage of the fact that I have a pretty nice plane that I just recently sharpened and is razor sharp. And I thought I would give it a try and see if I can't cut this profile with the hand plane. So here we go. I'm going to keep working it. I'll show it to you when I'm done. Okay, well, there it is. I uh, used my planer, my hand planes, to achieve this profile that Jim wanted. This was the original one that he drew on this side. He had a little break out here, but you can see that it's pretty close. I left it a little beefier here on top, which if he wants to, he can sand it down. 
And then, of course, the aluminum piece, which will be mounted on the floor, goes in just like that. So, do a little bit of sanding on it. It's in pretty good shape. It's very smooth now because it's plain, very sharp, plain cut. So, I think it'll work. But, there you go. One more project done. Thanks for tuning in.